Gastroscopy is a procedure that enables your doctor to diagnose problems of the upper digestive system. The examination will take about 5 to 10 minutes. The examination is to view the inner lining of your esophagus, stomach and part of your small intestine using a gastroscope. This is a long, thin, flexible tube with a tiny video camera. When your doctor recommends a gastroscopy examination, you will be required to give consent in writing to ensure that you understand what is involved. You should not take any food or drink at least six hours before the examination. Your stomach is to be empty during gastroscopy to ensure clear viewing of the upper gastrointestinal tract. On the appointment day, please produce your appointment card and endoscopy procedure deposit letter at the ground floor reception counter for registration followed by payment of deposit at pharmacy's cashier counter and then proceed to the fourth floor endoscopy center before the procedure you'll be asked to change into a patient gown and pyjamas Please leave all valuables at home. Please inform if you have any surgical or medical history, allergies or if you are taking regular medication such as for diabetes, blood pressure or blood thinning. You will be required to remove any dentures or spectacles before gastroscopy. A temporary IV cannula will be inserted into your forearm for sedation or analgesic and other medication. This cannula will be removed before you are discharged from the endoscopy center. Your throat will be sprayed with a liquid anesthetic to produce numbness. This may taste slightly bitter and the effect will last about 30 to 45 minutes. You will be positioned lying on your left side and you will be asked to bite on a plastic mouthpiece to prevent damage to the scope and allow the passage of the gastroscope through your throat. An intravenous injection of sedative will be given by the doctor to sedate you for 5 to 10 minutes. You may request for an awake scope. The doctor will insert the gastroscope through your mouth to the back of your throat down the oesophagus, through the stomach and into the second portion of the small intestine toward dinner. This will not interfere with your ability to breathe as the scope does not enter your windpipe. If you are awake, try to take slow breaths through your nose. For a clearer view of the inner lining of your upper gastrointestinal tract, air is pumped into your stomach. This air may cause the sensation of wind. Your doctor may take a tissue sample from the inner lining of your stomach. We can test for cancer or for bacteria. This is called a biopsy.
stress till fully recovered. Initially, you may feel slightly bloated from the air that was pumped into your stomach. This feeling will gradually subside. You may experience a numb sensation in the throat. Do not attempt to cough hard or clear your throat. You can drink when the swallowing sensation returns. You may then resume your normal diet as instructed by your doctor. If you were given sedation or analgesic, you may feel drowsy for several hours. You should not drive a car or operate machinery that requires judgment or skill or drink alcohol for the rest of the day. You are advised not to take sedative medication unless prescribed by your doctor. Avoid signing legal documents and make major decisions until the next day. Please arrange to go home accompanied by a family member or a friend after discharge from the endoscopy center. Do consult your doctor if you experience severe pain or discomfort of your abdomen, blackish stool, blood in your stool or vomitus, severe fever, redness, pain or swelling at site of injection that persists for more than 24 hours after the examination.